Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. On iTunes, the vanity code, one word is Dwyer Boxing News. Same on Roku, if you want to add us on the Roku website. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. This video is intended for sophisticated gamblers. Note that for information on monthly subscriptions to sports picks on sports like football, baseball, basketball, just check us out at Dwyer Sports Betting, the YouTube channel here online. Week 17 of the NFL. First, let's talk about a three-team teaser. Okay, understand in Las Vegas and other casinos as well, um, the casinos offer you a three-team teaser on pro football where they'll give you 10 points per game, right, on the available line. So, for example, if one team is favored by 10 points, the casino will say, okay, if you couple this or if you put this in a three-team teaser, we'll pretend this 10-point line didn't exist. We'll allow you to shift the 10 points either way toward the favorite, so you could take a 10-point favorite at even money, or toward the underdog. So the 10-point dog becomes a 20-point dog. But just understand, these three-team 10-point teasers are hard to win because one of the games you think is a slam dunk is actually going to be a swing and a miss right the accumulated odds payout on these three team 10 point swing teasers is a minus 130 nonetheless being a gambler let's intrepidly pick out a three team excuse me a three game 10-point teaser here for week 17 of the NFL right this is really more for entertainment purposes only I just want you to look at the game see if we're right about it we'll call this the motivational plus one teaser right understand the Green Bay Packers need to beat the Detroit Lions in order to win the NFC North Right, so this is really a must-win game for them. Understand, the division winner gets to host the playoff game. Right, so it's a must-win. Understand, too, it's my opinion that Green Bay's really two teams. There's the home team that looks dominant. Then there's the road team that looks beatable. Here, this game is in Green Bay because it's a must-win. And because... Detroit is an indoor team playing outdoors in late December the first game of the three game teaser I like the Green Bay Packers we're gonna shift the 10 points we're gonna take the 10 points that the casino is giving us and turn this into a line of Green Bay plus two and a half right the next game understand the Seattle Seahawks have payback on their mind forget everything else happening in the world right this is a proud team and they know they shouldn't have lost that first game against the St. Louis Rams they were outplayed they were out coached right for those of you who remember that first game there's even a moment in that first game where there's a fake punt and Seattle was unprepared right unprepared I'm guessing this game has been circled on the calendar for quite some time but let's think about Seattle's other motivation other than revenge to win this game if Seattle wins this game guess what folks they're the one seed in the NFC they never have to leave home until the Super Bowl which takes place in Arizona right this is what they had last year you might recall them beating the 49ers in the NFC championship game and how valuable that 12th man was in that game you also might recall that Seattle is one of the noisiest stadiums 
in the National Football League. People can't hear themselves there. And of course, like Detroit, St. Louis is an indoor team. Now you're asking them to play outdoors in a noisy stadium against a team that's one win away from clinching the top seed in the NFC. Right? The second game of this three-game teaser is to take Seattle getting the 10 points, so it's Seattle minus three over the St. Louis Rams. Now let's talk about the third game. This is going to be the controversial game, right? These third games are always the troublesome games. Understand that the Kansas City Chiefs went to San Diego earlier this year and beat the Chargers in San Diego. Right? Understand that the Chargers are a high wire act. They can't run the football, folks. The way Phillip Rivers just beat the San Francisco 49ers. And let me point out to all of you claiming that Tony Romo with Des Bryant and DeMarco Murray, that Tony Romo should be the MVP. Right? I just want you to ask yourself the simple question of who is the Des Bryant on the San Diego Chargers? Right? Philip Rivers doesn't even have a DeMarco Murray to hand the ball off to. And yet Philip Rivers has led some ridiculous comebacks against teams like the Baltimore Ravens and the San Francisco 49ers uh, on the road. Right? The reason Philip Rivers and the Chargers and Rivers has to be on anyone's very short list as an MVP candidate. Right? He's so important to San Diego that if you hear Philip Rivers is injured, you might as well tear up that ticket. Right? By the way, Philip Rivers is playing with a bulging disc in his back. Against San Francisco, the Chargers were beaten. Philip Rivers twice on fourth down and long yardage converted. Right? San Diego got their second miracle finish of the year, right? Push that game into overtime. Beat a team that had them down big, right, in San Francisco. Well, let me just say this. I admire Phillip Rivers, I admire the Chargers, but it's too much smoke and mirrors for me. And here you're playing Kansas City in Kansas City. Kansas City's already beaten San, uh, San Diego, right? And if you get the 10 points and put it on the Kansas City side of the ledger, understand that actually gets you past a plus 7. That gets you to a plus 7.5. So for the third game, I like the Kansas City Chiefs plus seven and a half after the ten point teaser endowment. I like the Kansas City Chiefs plus seven and a half to beat the Chargers. Now the Chargers have to win. If they win they're in the playoffs. The Chargers may well win the game. You know what? As long as I get that seven and a half what do I care as long as the Chargers win the game by seven or less? I like Kansas City plus seven and a half as the third part of this three-team teaser. So to summarize, I like Green Bay plus two and a half after the ten points as part of the teaser. I like Seattle minus three after the ten teaser points. And I like the Kansas City Chiefs plus seven and a half after getting the ten teaser points. Right? Good luck. If you want more picks like this, I hope you give my Dwyer Sports betting channel here on YouTube a hard look. Thanks for stopping by.